Hi everyone, my name is uh, David Ackley from the Data Applied College. Uh, I'm just briefly going to show you how to set up a A3 digital sketchbook. This is one that I did earlier, which you can see these are the A3 pages. If I just scroll down, you just by the side on the mouse. This is how you put your research together. This is for a third A4 leaflet. And this is where you drop drop the images. So this is all already set up, but what I'll do is just show you how to set it up from scratch. You just go to File, New. Once you've opened it, New Document. You get all these variations that come up, but ultimately you need A3, which is 210 by 420. And at the moment it's showing portrait, we need landscape, so we'll just click there. We'll set these the margins at 10, because they're all clicked. But you can change any of this at any stage that you want. No call facing pages, uncheck this image, and then they'll go. That means your file will all be one above the other, which you can see there in the, in the page pages panel. So we'll check that. You can change these at any stage, and we'll just go OK. So you end up with something like that, which obviously that doesn't work A3. I've done a mistake. I'm just going to go back to that and just check the size for that. Document setup. A3 is actually 220 by 297. So you can change anything at any time. You don't have to worry. I'm pressing Command minus. That gets, gets it on. So I've got one page and that's A3. I can see the proportions and that looks like that. Then what you need to do is set up. We're going to set up this front page here. And basically what you're doing with InDesign is you're dropping text boxes, which are those. That's with a T, so you draw a text box. And then if you go to another page, you have an image box, which is here, which is a tangle tool. And we just click on that and you drop an image into that box. And that's what we're setting up. So I'm going to just copy and paste from here so I don't have to retype it. And I'll change that date to today's date. See, I just drag a text box to my first page. And I'm going to command V. Today's date is actually the 26th of October. And then what I do is draw another text box. First of all, presentations, I like separate text boxes. And then we'll click onto there and we're just going to command A, selects all. Command C copies and then command B copies and pastes. And this is what you need. You can put your name in there. And this is for HMD1 desktop publishing. And this is what you're going to require. In total, what is that? Something like 15 pages. We've only got one page at the moment. The easiest way to set that up is to just duplicate that page, go over to the left hand side, highlight it in blue. I'm actually right clicking and just go duplicate spread. And you've got another spread. If I just go to the other one that I set up earlier, this is where you would put your mind map. I've not got a mind map as such. If you've done your mind map in your sketchbook, what you do, you link that, you draw a box. This is showing you the fill of the box and this is the border. I don't want either. So I bring the borders to the front, click the red line and there's nothing. And I want to drop my hand sketched mind map here. And you see that box? And then we just go File, Place. These shortcuts, but I'm trying to avoid the shortcuts. And then you go to your folder where you keep your mind map and all your research. I'm working on this today, so I'll just have a quick look in progress. Glasgow Clyde College. I'm going to 2022. Put on DTP week eight. And this is where all my research is. I haven't got a mind map, so I'll just drop any image in. You just click on that. And if that was a mind map, a scanning mind map, you just go open and it drops it in. You drop this in perfectly so you don't squash the image. We go to these elements at the top up here. 
And you see fit content proportionally. That's very important. So it's not squashed and we'll just go fit proportionally. See, it doesn't squash an image, but it fits all the image into the box. And that would be your mind map. And then all you do is that for the rest of the pages, that's what you do exactly the same thing. You just, you just grab it, duplicate, spread. So you've got the data at the top, so you duplicate, spread it. And we've got three pages. I'm going to go to the one that I did earlier. And this has got mind map on. You can put titles on if you want to. This title, because I've done it earlier, again, it would be a separate text box. So I'll go to the one that we're creating now. I'm just highlighting the text box, uh, the image box making it smaller. I'm going to drop the text box in there, full width. And then you put the text in. And I've actually got it here. And I've got it formatted. So it's a, bit, it's a case of copy and pasting. Command C, and then Command V, and it drops in there. And that's how you create more pages. If you wanted another one, if you had your research, like you've got here, this is a bit of research, annotated research, and then we start to put the thumbnails in. Now you can do thumbnails as integrated thumbnails, or some people like them separately. Make sure they're not too big. Remember, this is an A3 document. So you could be up to fit four on an A3. I've created these boxes. So if I just go Command C, go to the one that I'm making. Now this occasion, we'll, we'll do in Command V, I deleted that, and this drops in. See, it's the correct proportions for my leaflet. I'm just highlighting it again. And I'm just going to copy it. If I just click on my finger on the Alt key, I just drag down, that copies it. I'll leave space so I can annotate it. I'm going to line those up. You can line everything up perfectly here at the top. And I'm just going to select those two again, keep my finger on the Alt key, go across, and I've got another one there. So I can do separate thumbnail sketches. And this would develop. This would be one concept that you do front and back. So this would be space for two concepts. But you annotate it, you mix it with your research, and it drops in there. And then when you're, you're happy with that, you really should be dropping in your visuals as and when you want. You use these as templates. But you would drop in your visuals, scan them in, and just drop them as separate pages, like, like you see on that one. You'd select that, your visuals in your sketchbook, scan it, take a photograph it, and just drop it into that image. So there's a black box there. If you just go File, Place, and say if I've done some, some research, something else, I would drop that in there and say this, this could be your sketches that you're dropping. And then you just create, you click on the button, and then you duplicate the spread, and you can create as many or as little as you want, and make sure they've got the correct title at the top. And then when you've gone that, and you're happy with your sketchbook, it doesn't have to be 100% finished, you can end it in as you're developing it on a weekly basis. What we do is we just go to File, Adobe Presets, High Quality Print, and we're going to save a PDF. And what I'm going to do, which I quite like this, is to put the date in the American format so it drops into order. So I'll go 21st underscore of October 26, 21st, 2001. And this sketchbook, if I just drop that in there, it goes into week eight and we save. And then you see how you can develop that sketchbook as you're going along. And I'll just take you to that folder there, DTP. We're just having a look. There's one we created it on you. File. High quality. Just 10, 26. It's week eight. You see, that's the one that we created earlier. 
We'll just do another one and we'll save it there. Export. And so you always save the PDF. You don't upload your InDesign files. Your PDF embeds your images. So we go back to DTP. You see, I'm putting that in the wrong place. So I'm going to actually go and find that and see where it is. I think I'll be putting it in the wrong image. I'm going to go file. If you can't find something, make sure you're filing your files is quite important. So I just go to, it's going to DTP research. DTP week eight. And there it's, there's one there and there's also one in research, but we'll open the one there. Pump the PDF, and this is what file you should upload to Canvas. And you'll not need this, you'll not need any your image or anything along those lines. And if that was your mind map, that's your thumbnails, and this is your research. That's how you create a digital sketchbook. Thank you for listening. And we'll just stop the recording.